Okay, here's how to do a deep detox using fruit. Basically, we're made of chemicals. They're either acid or alkaline. Acids inflame, dehydrate, cause pain, and destroy. Alkalines are anti-inflammatory, hydrating, cooling, and replenishing. Lymph is our sewer system, and it surrounds every cell. When it backs up, it turns to acid. This is called acidosis, and it's the cause of most of man's suffering, everything from canker sores to cancer. Acidosis is caused from years of consuming acid-forming foods like dairy, grains, meat, refined sugars, etc. Foods high in protein also produce acids. Toxins in our water, food, cosmetics, and environment, even negative thoughts, anger, and stress produce acids. The body tries to remain alkaline, but in today's world, acids are winning. They're destroying our organs, joints, arteries, skin, etc., and literally taking years off our life. It's time we did something about it and take back our power. Fruit is a powerful way to detox the entire body. Fruit is alkalizing and it gets stagnant lymph moving to the kidneys and the lymph nodes where acids, toxins, viruses, parasites, and unwanted bacteria can be gotten rid of. Don't forget the lymph is also your main immune system and it won't work right if it's a toxic cesspool. Acid fruits are the most alkalizing even though they taste acidic. These include lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, pineapples, strawberries, tangerines, cranberries, and tomatoes. They get rid of acids, get lymph moving, and are powerful at pulling toxins out and dissolving clogged lymph fluids. Remember, what you don't eliminate, you accumulate. Subacid fruits are the next best. Apples, blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, cherries, grapes, mangoes, nectarines, peaches, pears, plums, raspberries, and watermelon make up this group. Bananas, dates, figs, papaya, persimmon are the sweet fruits. They'll fill you up and give you lots of energy, but they're not that aggressive. I recommend at least an 80% fruit diet while detoxing. You can either eat the fruit or juice it. If you have a chronic or degenerative disease, you'll want to go 100% fruit until you improve. An all-grape diet is the most powerful and is used in tough cases. Health is energy, and fruit is as close to pure energy as a food can get. Remember, the body is the healer and energy is at the core of all healing. Don't be afraid of fruit, it's what you're supposed to be eating. Scientific studies prove that humans are fruit eaters. Genetically, we're closest to the primates who are frugivores, not meat eaters or grass eaters. Our diet should be primarily fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Many believe that getting away from our natural diet has led to much of our chronic suffering. Fruit sugars are simple and the body thrives on them. Blood sugar levels tend to remain stable and can even go down during a detox. Unripe fruit is a source of acid in the diet, so don't eat it. Pineapples and kiwis are notorious for being picked unripe, thus very acidic. Bananas are the only fruit that ripens after it's picked. The rest just ferment and rot. Always eat slowly until satisfied. Don't overeat. It stresses the digestive system. Don't count calories and never go hungry. Always buy organic if possible. If you can't, remove the pesticides with a veggie wash. You can also eat some raw veggies. Leafy green salads are best. Add some cucumber, tomatoes, carrots, beets, jicama, purple onion, avocado, whatever. Squeeze a little lemon on it, and you've got yourself a filling meal. Veggies will, however, slow down a detox. Raw nuts and seeds should be used sparingly because they slow things down even more. Never cook your food because it destroys nutrition and life force. It turns it acidic and creates toxins, some cancer-causing. Eat the dead and you'll be dead. To assist you in moving limp, do some light exercise, take a sauna, get a massage, Skin brushing helps too. Fruit is a strong cleanser and can stir up a lot of toxins and mucus. You may feel some side effects as the toxins leave the body. These can include headache, body aches, fatigue, irritability, emotional releases, dizziness, diarrhea, nausea, muscle cramps, high temperatures, nasal congestion, sore throat, etc. This usually lasts just a few days. Don't be afraid of a healing crisis. It's a sign that you're getting well. If you really need to slow down a detox, eat more salads. Steamed veggies and brown rice really slow it down. Start your detox slow by eating more salads and veggies and juicing less. Ease into it, but push your limits. You've got work to do. As a society, we now have some serious lymphatic problems. Getting well is not taking a pill. It's about unwinding what you've unknowingly created. You will not get rid of this in two weeks. You have to move limb from head to toe, which is miles long and lots of work. When you begin to detox, your tongue will turn white or even yellow, green, or brown. You should detox until your tongue turns pink again. The more toxic you are, the longer this will take. Have patience, it's worth it. Your body's incredible at self-healing if it's free of obstructions. 
It can heal and regenerate any cell from brain cells to toe cells. Focus on health. Lose your concept of diseases. They're just signs and symptoms that the body needs to clean and rebuild itself. Another benefit is that most people lose weight because the body protects itself from acids by buffering them with fat. When the acids are expelled, so is the fat. People who have been eating raw living foods back before cancer, heart disease, and diabetes were claiming the lives of millions. Raw food is really not a diet at all. You can do this for the rest of your life and thrive. Your body will be constantly detoxifying and you'll barely notice it once the deep cleaning is complete. Detoxification is one of the greatest things you'll ever do for yourself. Become alive again. Put your heart and soul into it. Always remember, love is alkalizing. Good luck and God bless.